Hi guys, I have a quick unboxing. I have the KCON 4 merch that was released for Luna. And you probably have already seen this, or you probably would have already been able to find an unboxing or whatever for these, but I just got mine. <laughs> so um, I'll do the unboxing anyways. I don't actually really watch KCON stuff. <laughs> I haven't ever bought any of the tickets or like, I think there have been like fan meetings through KCON stuff. And when in-person things were happening, like I live in the US, but I do not live anywhere near California or New York, which I think are the main two places that they do KCON. So I've never been to a KCON, either in person or online. <laughs> But Luna has been attending them and performing at them, obviously. I have the Luna AR and behind photo set for KCON 4 and this film keyring. So we'll start with this <laughs> voice keyring. Okay. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but we will try. Okay. I don't know what they mean by like voice keyring. Does anyone, I mean, please feel free to tell me what that means in um, the comments. Cause this is film keyring, but then this box back part says voice keyring. I don't know if that, if you can see it, but there, there's kind of been this like trend in doing these little keyrings in K-pop recently I've noticed. Is there a faster way to like pull this back in? If not, I guess I'll just roll it. I'm probably breaking this. I know that like twice did these for or like little keyring things for Taste of Love. Has Luna done these before? I don't I don't think Luna has, and I don't think they did for KCON last time. Or KCON 3. But I feel like I've seen these a few times now. And they're not my favorite because they kind of feel like what's the point merch i mean i'm part of the problem i still buy what's the point merch so i'm encouraging them i suppose to like make stuff like this but it's fine i mean technically this is kind of cute it says luna right here and then there's the little like kcon logo on this part of the keychain but it's not my favorite I'm kind of hoping that like they don't keep releasing stuff like this, but it's also my fault that I keep buying it. So what can I say? Capitalism. Okay, the AR and behind photo sets. And last time the backgrounds were purple. This time the backgrounds are yellow. I don't actually really use any of the AR set stuff. So I know like mowing. M-O-I-N-G was one of the ones that you used. I don't really know what you have to use for this one. But, oh, yeah, mowing. Okay, where to start? Okay, here's the little ticket. And it is 12 themed, like from the album. This is the C version, back. Oh, that's nice, it says all their names. Place seat number, didn't exist, it was online. <laughs> And we'll start with this side. Do you guys care when I do the like naming thing? I don't know if it's helpful or not or if it's just annoying. But I know I always will go by their name. Like I'll go through them by name. Feel free to tell me. But I'll do it anyways. Um, Heejin. Hyunjin. No hassle for this yet. Yojin. Baby. And I do think the styling is really cute for these. I actually like these types of outfits. Kim Lip. Jinsoul. Cherry. Eve. Choo. Go on. And Olivia Ye. And 
And the back is just this like the blue KCON type theming with their signatures. Legion. And I like these a lot. I like this styling. And I don't think these are, are they? I don't think they are AR photos. No, they're just behind photos. Legion. Hyunjin. Yojin. Vivi. Kim Lip. Jinsoul. Jerry. Eve. Chu. That's really cute. I like that card. Go on. Olivia Ye. And the group card. So that is actually it. Pretty fast. Not too much to see this time around. KCON 3 had like a purple background and black outfits, and there were some pretty cute photos from that, that round of stuff too. And I do generally like these types of photos, so I don't really have any complaints with this stuff. I generally like having it in my collection. So that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!